want to begin? Um, that's a great question, Karina. And definitely, I I would call myself, I label myself an empath. Um, so an empath is somebody who deeply senses other people's pain. Um, I'm very sensitive. I believe you mentioned that um, during our um, off chat discussion as well. I literally feel other people's pain um, when they're suffering. When I hear the news, I'm one of those people that cries. Okay, so let's just sum it up <laughs> as that. So when I get into the characters and when I'm trying to write, I literally get into the characters' minds. I definitely I need nature to write. Nature inspires me. I can look at a body of water. It could be a lake. It could be a pool. It could be a little pond. I will, I definitely conjure up these characters and um, I take from my own life, I definitely um, people who have hurt me in, in my life, they become characters. People who have inspired me from life, they also become characters. But this is the thing, um, in terms of being an empath, people who have hurt me, I try to understand where they came from. Um, because we're all human, we're not perfect, none of us are perfect. So, for example, the catalyst begins with uh, a murderer an anonymous murderer and you don't know who it is until the end. Okay, so that's the whole premise. That's why it's a mystery. You think it's one person, but it could be another, right? It's a whodunit kind of, in a way, um, aside from being a soul searching one about identity and through it all. You don't like New York. It can never make you feel whole. Yet you love it. You breathe it. It's the city where you root your soul. Uh, but if I may be one of those box dressed lady inmates, I would love to, if you ever produce this. I love acting, you can tell. Um, but um, joking aside, I'm only half kidding, I do want to act in it. <laughs> um, definitely, I write the chapter for it. And I put like, I describe the scene in parentheses. You know, Caitlin goes to Paul, says this. Paul is affected by this. Like I just, I have like this, I set up the scene, like a narrator, a chapter, I summarize the scene for myself. So that when I go back, and I write when I'm happy actually. So it's a little bit out, I write when I'm happy. Um, I write poetry when I'm sad. Write out your drops. <laughs> it also involves uh, tear drops. I write poetry when I'm sad, but I write now when I'm happy. And I go back and write the dialogue. Um, I interviewed dialogue later, so I sum up every chapter uh, like a like a narrator, like a theatrical script, life in a new country, etc., etc. Um, and in it, and I, I have based the character off of yes, somebody from real life who has hurt me. So even the protagonist, she's not perfect. Caitlin Maravich is my protagonist, and she is not perfect. She makes mistakes. Uh, people who claim to be perfect are the ones who make the most mistakes. So we're all human, and I definitely, um, I can try to, I believe that's my kryptonite. And yes, it makes me suffer sometimes when I feel other people's pain, and I do get hurt by people more easily um, than perhaps some other people. I don't have a shield up, but because I don't have that shield up, I allow that flow um, in through my writing. Um, then perhaps some other people, I don't have a shield up, but because I don't have that shield up, I allow that flow um, in through my writing. And I set free my flow. That's my upcoming poetry book that I'm writing. I like, want set free your flow. And I definitely allow that to be voiced by the character. He's a storyteller. He's a writer. He wrote his book. He got says how he survived prison, and that was through his creative principle. 